Welcome back to Garmin 1000 Made Simple, Part 2. This is Instructor Nick from v1pilot.com. Thanks for joining us today, and today we'll be going over the Garmin 1000 control knobs on the left here, the primary, and the airport that we're actually at today is Farmingdale, New York. KFRG and we'll be selecting a uh, actual navigation VOR and to select your actual VOR you have your nav knob here the small and the outer larger knob if you actually have the toggle switch here you could toggle back from the active frequency which right now is 117.2 Calvin VOR the uh, active navigation frequency is always on the inside and the standby is on the outside as we were mentioning the active frequency is 117.2 Calvin Charlie 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 and it's on the inside. Today we're not going to talk about these soft keys, but I'm going to switch this up so it actually displays uh, Calvin 117.2, and it's also indicated uh, green as being active. We can also ident the active VOR by pressing this small knob in, which activates the ID identification of the Morse code and you could increase the volume of the Morse code or decrease it to your liking and to switch in between frequencies if you want to we can switch so what we're going to actually do for the standby frequency we're going to tune in Deer Park uh, VOR which is 117.7 so you would turn the large outer knob on the nav button here so the large button clockwise 117 the large numbers and for the smaller point zero zero digits you turn the smaller knob clockwise so we'll turn until we get 117.7 and then we could toggle that as the active frequency and you see that it's changed now to active 117.7 dpk and we can id but it is green so it's shown as active we'll turn off the id by hitting the small volume button pressing it in and it deactivates the id now that we covered the navigation knob and navigation frequencies how to choose the active to standby and actually with this simulator we only have one nav function if you do have a multi nav panel you could actually have a nav 1 and nav 2 but for this simulator purposes we only have one nav and one communication one com so we covered the uh, nav ID nav toggling between active and standby and actually changing the nav frequencies for the VOR. We'll now go on to the heading which controls the blue heading bug right here and the heading bug that's on is displaying 075. If you want to actually center it on the actual heading of the aircraft you would hit the heading bug and it would center it. You notice that the heading says 054 and it's the same as the heading of the aircraft 054. If you want to change the heading bug, this blue bug, you could turn it clockwise, this heading knob, and 
you'll notice that the heading bug will increase or if you want to decrease the heading bug to another heading you could decrease it by turning the heading knob to the left and just press the heading bug and it'll center it again now on to the altitude setting knob here if currently right now our altitude is 3070 feet here as indicated on the right altitude indication here if we actually want to set a specific altitude we can set it right now it's on zero feet you would take the altitude knob turn it to the right clockwise to increase it and we could increase it six seven hundred eight hundred nine hundred thousand all the way up to three thousand feet so that way our system will indicate when we actually reach our desired altitude of 3,000 feet and say if we want to go and descend down to 2,000 feet we could go ahead and descend turn the knob counterclockwise to the left and bring it down to 2,000 well we covered everything on the left side here from the power button to the navigation nav1 ID button the toggle switch that toggles the nav frequencies from standby to active the navigation which consists of the large knob and smaller knob to choose the navigation uh, frequencies our heading bug which is the blue bug and we could change that left or right by selecting and turning the knob clockwise or counterclockwise or centering it by pressing the heading knob then finally on the left side we chose the selected desired altitude bug desired altitude of 3000 feet but we indicated 2000 feet but if you want to increase it turn it right clockwise to increase to 3000 feet and turn it to the left counterclockwise to decrease thank you for joining uh, me today on part two if you haven't watched it please watch part one of garmin 1000 made simple and this is brought to you by v1pilot.com thank you